Number three, we believe in the books and scriptures that Allah has revealed. Allah has told us about several of the scriptures and books that He has sent over time. He told us about the Zabur that He sent to Prophet Dawood or the Psalms that He sent to Prophet David as it's referred to in English, peace be upon him. He told us about the Torah that He has revealed to Prophet Musa or Moses, peace be upon him. Allah has told us in the Quran about the Injil or the gospel that has been revealed to Prophet Jesus or Prophet Isa as we refer to him in Arabic, peace be upon him. And Allah has told us about scriptures that he has revealed to Prophet Abraham, peace be upon him as well. We believe that all of these scriptures in their original unadulterated form came with one message. And that is the belief in one God and that there is a day of judgment and it commanded us to pray and to fast and to give charity and to be good to others and it asked us to refrain from killing others and stealing and lying and so on and so forth. So the core messages, uh, the core beliefs and practices within these messages was one and we find that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not preserve those previous revelations. Why did He not preserve them? We may speculate that number one, it was a test for the believers of that time. Will they preserve the command from God and the revelation from Him or will they corrupt it over time for their own financial and worldly benefit and gain? And secondly, whenever Allah sends another prophet and messenger with another revelation, then they are to follow the latest prophet and messenger and the latest revelation. And if the previous one has already become corrupted, then it's easy for people to know that they should not follow it anymore. We believe the last and the final revelation sent to mankind is referred to as the Qur'an or the recitation which has been revealed through the angel Gabriel by Allah to the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. We believe that the Qur'an is the literal word of God that was spoken by him and it is preserved authentically from the time of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, which was over 1,400 years ago. We believe that it supersedes all of the previous revelations and that in it is all that we need for guidance. So a Muslim does not turn to any of the previous scriptures today for guidance or for the way that they will live their life religiously. Rather, a Muslim will turn to the Qur'an and will turn to the life and times and sayings of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, for guidance and for uh, a way of life to emulate. How do we know that the Qur'an is still preserved in its authenticity when we say that other scriptures and revelations have been changed? We can see that there are various versions for other scriptures and revelations, but for the Qur'an there is only one version. We know that the Qur'an has been preserved in writing from the time of Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, and it has also been preserved orally, and it has been handed down through an uninterrupted chain of narration, generation upon generation. We literally have millions of Muslims around the world today who memorize the entire Qur'an word for word, letter for letter, cover to cover. And I have not met uh, people in other religions in such numbers that memorize their religious scripture in its entirety. And Allah has made a promise that He will preserve this message and this revelation because it is the last and the final revelation sent to mankind.